Today I am going to do my Christmas decor video. I just wanted to do kind of a little intro about it because I have got a lot of questions on like why we don't decorate so much. And it's not that we don't decorate, we're just, we're very minimal. So we the decorations we have out are our favorite. They're stuff that we put out every year. If we add to it, it's because it's something we really enjoy. And I think it's everyone has their sense of minimalism. There's no like manual on you are only allowed to have so many things. We do it the way we like to. And there are ways that we're like, if you could see how many ornaments we actually have, we have this entire tote that's just ornaments. There's stuff that's like Ed's grandmother's, his mom's, stuff that we've been given. And we, right now, our tree is decorated for the kids. It's all ornaments that the kids can touch, they can play with, stuff they've made. And I'm not saying that they play with the tree, but I don't want them to feel like they can't go near the tree because it's, you know, hands off, which I felt like my grandparents' trees were like that. And I just, I want them to, them to feel like Christmas is for them. So we do really minimal and it is just, you'll probably see it's the same as last year. I'm gonna link last year's video down below for you. We have added some things, like I said, but mostly it's the same, but we just changed it up a little bit. And yeah, so let's get started. All right, so here we are in our living room. We just have these little window clings on. It just says happy holidays. The boys want some snowman ones, but I have not found them yet. I really need to start looking more. Um, and then here's our tree. We love it. It is fake. We've had it for three years now. And I think this is its last year. It's kind of wilting and the lights aren't working. We actually had to put more lights on because it was a pre-lit tree and now they're not working anymore. But as you can see, it is just so cute. It is decorated definitely for the kids. There's some of their artwork that they've made. The ornaments that we made, these are the ones we made last year. This was made, my mother-in-law made this. Um, we got this ornament this year from my aunt that's now has Mia's name on it. It's awesome. But the boys really love every ornament on here and I just, I love the way it came out. It was just, it's just perfect and it fits right here. But like I said, I think this is his last year. My tree skirt is actually from the dollar store a couple of years ago. I could not find one I wanted and my mother-in-law is making us one. So I'm just kind of holding out. Here is our mantle with our stockings. I was so excited when I went to Target to get Mia's stocking. I know hers is just plain. The kids are all plain because my mother-in-law actually makes the kids stockings and she's just, she's been sick so she hasn't gotten them made. She's hoping to get them made soon, which is great. And um, yeah, so I just got her a plain one. And then we have our stocking holders, which I was so excited because as you can see, Mia has the exact same one as the other kids, as everyone else. And I bought those ones last year. So I was kind of concerned that I wasn't gonna get one to match and they had ones, which was great. So these were from Target. I think it was two for 50, oops, sorry. Almost tripped on the baby's seat. They were two for 15, so that was a great price. And then I just have some greenery back there. It's fake. And then over here, fish tank. We have all of the kids' Christmas books and their little headbands. And oh, did you want to say something? What'd you uh, want to say? Yeah? Oh, you watching the fish tank too? Yeah? And then up here we have this little wooden tree sign that my mom got me last year. It is so super cute. It fits in perfectly. And then we have our advent calendar that my mother-in-law made. It was so funny. I was actually thinking that I needed to get an advent calendar, like one that I could use year after year. And then she made us one. It was amazing. I was like, holy cow. And what else do we have in here? Oh, we have our Christmas quilt that my mother-in-law made us. She made this uh, years ago and we actually put it on the floor and have Mia play on it now. All right, in this little corner of the house, we have a lot of decorations too. This is our Christmas card holder who is Bob is hanging out in there today. And then up here we have our Lego advent calendar that we do every year. We have our little ornament stand that holds like the heavier ornaments or ones that we want to keep out, but like we just don't want the kids to touch. And then down here we have these little snowmen. They're glass. I've had them for years. I don't even know where I got them, but I had the one for the big one for a while. And then I happened to see this small one in a store and I picked it up. I've had those probably for like 10 years now. 
And then we have our little cookie plate and cup for Santa. In this little snowman, I don't know how long I've had him. Again, he's probably like 15 years old. I love him. And then this is a little Lego present set that we got at Lego when we ordered or when we bought the, um, the set that Santa's bringing. And then down here we have Wally's hanging out. Our Christmas frame picture, which our picture from last year, our new one should be in any day now. And then we just have this little penguin, little tin, and these are so old. They were my mom's and the boys just love playing with them, so I just keep them out. Table, we just have our Christmas placemats. These are reversible. My mother-in-law made these. these. She actually used them herself for years, and then when she moved, she found them and was like, I'm never going to use them. Do you want them? And I was again looking, I swear she has like ESP. So I've got four placemats and then there's a table runner, which I just fold to put under there because it would take up so much room on this table. If I pulled the table all the way out, I probably would use it, but I just love the way it looks. And then we have my little wine penguin glasses that I put up every year. They are just so cute. I'd get them for me from Pier 1 I think like eight or nine years ago. Kitchen, not much in here. I have my little tree place um, drying racks. I've got one under the baby stuff and then one over here. And then we've got a couple of magnets left. We've had these ones for, a, for four or five years now, I think since having kids and we just, those are what is left that haven't broke. And we just have some Christmas towels hanging. And then over here I have my this is a glade candle it's actually the christmas tree scent and it is awesome i just haven't burnt it much yet and then we have my little penguin this is actually a cookie jar but i took the lid off and i'm just using it for my spoon rest i love it it's so cute we have this simple bathroom that we've got just got changed and put a christmas towel and then i have this little ornament it is actually from bath and body works believe and you're supposed to put like one of those scents in it i had one last year we tried using it and they were so strong it was giving us headaches so now i just use it as a nightlight so i hope you enjoyed this tour of all of our christmas decor that we have out this year i am so happy with the way it turned out another reason we go kind of minimal is because if you don't know our oldest son has autism and a lot of change can actually frustrate him and cause him to have some meltdowns so it's just easier if we just subtly change things it just makes life easier for everyone and i don't feel like i'm cluttering up my house with decor so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video